good YouTube? This is your homeboy, the Red Yoshi here. My next episode, let's play Kingdom Hearts. In the previous episode, we defeated Port Royale. And in this episode, I've... Ow. I've made my decision. We will be moving on to the Ancient Highway. So let's proceed through the Ancient Highway. I still really need to make that video where I go through all the gummy garage stuff. Uh, who cares? So we're going to use our new ship highway in level 5. <laughs> oh god, I'm tired and silly today. Yay, tired and silly Tim. But no, I'm actually not that tired. I'm just a little silly. And let's start. I love how the just the generic like base ships that they give you look really badass. I really love that a lot. <laughs> oh snap, look at that! Oh, I forgot how good the music was on this thing. I'll be honest, I love all genres of music. There's like very few genres of music that I don't enjoy at one point or another. It like, it really takes a lot for me not to like the genre of music at all. Like, I'm not the hugest fan of heavy metal, but I can listen to some heavy metal songs to an extent. Okay, so you see the giant wheel thing here. You'll notice that one of the little turbo turbines on it will have its face poking out. Make sure you focus that turbine and shoot it. And there we go, it's the top right one that time. It's pretty simple though. But as I was saying before, there I truly enjoy most genres of music. There's it pro it probably would take a lot for me to not enjoy genre music at all. This wheel, you're so weak. But yeah, like that's the one thing I really love about the Kingdom Hearts game. I don't think there are any songs in this game that I don't enjoy. Like, there's a difference between not enjoying a song and not memorable. But, like, it's like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, when you play Mar- it's like, memorable songs are like the Mario games where like, you remember the way they sound, and they like, can hum them in your head and stuff. Where like, and like when I say forgettable, I mean like, if it's like, I'm trying to figure out what's in the words. Well, it's like, when I say something's forgettable, it's like, if you, it's like when you can't remember what the song for that thing sounds like. But it's, it's more than that though, because like just not remember what something sounds like doesn't mean that it's forgettable. Oh god. Okay, for that you saw what it did to me. I had to spin to get off, get it off me. You spin with the circle button, just so you know. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh god. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was, oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Alright, we've opened missions level to one and two. And we got Highland level six. I'll be honest, I was a little scared for a moment. I was I was quite scared. I I didn't know how to react. On to our new world, you Agrippa with a battle level of 22. I wonder how Aladdin and Jasmine are doing. Hey, maybe Riku's with them. Yeah, I am the king. 
Good dream, my little girl. Come on, Donald. You were thinking the same thing. No, I wasn't. Uh-oh! It's a, um... It's a Yago! Wait, you got me all wrong! Yeah, yeah, you're all wrong. No, I mean, it's not the old me! I turned over a new feather! I'm legit! No more scams! Promise! That that's your new scam. You gotta believe me! Sure, uh, let's go! I was stuck inside that lamp with your far, remember? When I finally escaped! Then some things happened, and... So, free as a bird, huh? Have fun! Gorge fillers, he looks pretty sad. I want to apologize to Alive and Jasmine. Could you guys maybe put in a good word for me? Sure. We can do that, can't we? Watch out! As you know, with a new world comes new heartless. Say hello to these guys. I don't remember what their names are off the top of my head. These are basically a replacement of the bandit heartless from Kingdom Hearts 1. They're quicker, stronger, and pretty dangerous heartless, especially for this point in the game. So don't want to underestimate these guys. They can be a pain in the arse. So yeah. Not even an aggro buff for 30 seconds, and we already have new heartless to deal with. But honestly, these guys are kind of pushovers. Especially with all these shadows with them. Like, they're. In the oh, snap! That was cool. And just. Kill the last heartless. Oh, that wasn't the last one, no, more came out. Uh, and you know what time it is? Wisdom form! Because Wisdom form does level up off of killing Heartless and wow, I don't even get to enjoy Wisdom form. Bullshit. Where are they all coming from? Aw, we'd have been gone if Iago hadn't helped us. Ain't that right, fellas? I guess we owe you one. Perfect! Oh god, that's a terrible voice. But you'll have to win over Aladdin and Jasmine yourself. Be on your best behavior, got it? You, yeah, I got it! God, it sounded more like Toad. <laughs> Where is Aladdin anyway? I bet you he's at the palace. Then let's go. Okay, that Iago voice is freaking terrible. Oh my god, I sound more like Toad. And look! Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna explain what happened. Cause you know, so I was in wisdom form, but now I'm out. What happens is, when you're in one of your forms, and you go into certain rooms of the game, they'll immediately knock you out of the, your form, but they will also give you back max form gauges. Something you can abuse just a little bit. I honestly have a tendency to do that at later points in the game. I'm just being honest. I do abuse that. And look, now we have to go to, I believe, the palace, which is that way. Ooh, excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> and the palace is this way, yeah. Because, of course, we must go with Iago to help him win over Aladdin and Jasmine. Jasmine. Sora, Donald, Goofy. Your Majesty. <laughs> I never had the chance to thank you for before. You helped Aladdin defeat that awful Jafar and save Agrabah. All in a day's work. 
But, uh, it looks like the Heartless are up to no good again. Is there any way we can help you out? I think we're all right for now. And you always got Aladdin. Oh, he hasn't been himself lately. Huh? Is it of the Heartless? I'm not sure. Usually, he's the same cheerful Aladdin. But sometimes, he just seems sad. Mm. He leaves the palace and goes off by himself all the time. I've asked him about it, but he says nothing's wrong. He's gone again today. What if he doesn't come back this time? Hey, maybe he's got a <gasps> secret girlfriend. I know. I'll go find out who she is. <gasps> Iago, quick, Sora. Oh, catch him. And I'll warn the guards and everyone in the palace. That's the thing. Iago's not... <sighs> nice move. Maybe it's something you said. <sighs> Gee, maybe we should go talk to Aladdin. He's got to be somewhere in town, right? Good idea. I wonder what he's been doing. Sora, come back here! If you can't control that furball, put a leash on him. Look, I'm sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself, Abu. Uh, no hard feelings? <laughs> hey guys, uh, sorry about earlier. I was kind of in a hurry. What happened? You know Abu, he couldn't keep his paws off that lamp. <laughs> no talking your way out of this one. <laughs> 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 I guess, I guess you can't be that down in the dumps, huh? Who said I was? Princess Jasmine? She's worried cause you're always in, always, uh, cause you're always in town. Got a new girlfriend? No, no way. Still, I guess there's no fool on Jasmine, huh? See, Jeannie and Carpet took off to see the world. It's what Genie always wanted, so I wished him the best and all, but... You miss him. Man, things really must be quiet with Genie gone. Yeah, that's why I always come here. The action, the people. There's always something going on. I mean, come on. I met you guys here today, right? This place is full of surprises. Uh, Sora? Iago? Oh, right. He wanted to apologize for all the trouble he's caused. Oh, does he? Gosh, he's so sorry he's shaking. <laughs> what about it? It was the lamp! Come on, there's a million like it. I was locked in that thing for months. There's no way I'd mistake it. Then we'd better go talk to that peddler. Right behind you. Alright, now Aladdin is not a member of our party. Real quick, this is going to annoy- Oh, Sora has a couple new, a new ability. Ariel's finished. That's cool. Just going to do this because these new symbols are going to kill me. Oh, wait, wait. Goofy? Oh, Goofy has a limit ability now. That is awesome. Um, I want to... Okay, do I equip this? And equip Goofy's new limit. 
I did not realize Goofy had a limit. That is awesome. So, okay, I'm just gonna go talk to the peddler, and after that, I'm going to end the episode. So, oh, geez, Heartless. Oh, we have another Heartless here. This is a Silver Rock. Silver Rocks are very similar to the Heartless from Kingdom Hearts 1 that used to fly around like that. None of which make a reappearance in this game. However, many of their distant cousins do. Silver Rocks teleport from place to place, and it can be hard pinning one down to kill it. But otherwise, they're not that bad. They're just pretty annoying. Oh, and I thought I had a reaction command, and... Well, I probably did have a reaction command, but I ended up limiting Donald instead. It doesn't matter. Oh, let's right there. I believe this is the peddler shop over here. I'm just gonna kill some more Heartless. Also, Aladdin's really good. One thing I like about this game is, like, your ally's ability to kill Heartless in this game. I'll talk more about that at a later time. Is there any way we can buy that lamp from you? Of course that is. If you can afford it. No worries. Yeah, we can just pay your royal church. Donald. Might I be able to interest you in another fine lamp? No, that's the one we need. Ah, well, perhaps I can't be persuaded if you bring me treasure beyond my imagination. Something say, fit for a sultan. Treasure that could be tricky. There's lots at the palace, but it's not mine to take, and I can't ask. I don't want to worry Jasmine or the Sultan. Hey, I know. What about the treasure in the Cave of Wonders? Alrighty, Yago, you lead the way. And after we get the treasure, I might even believe your apology. You can count on me. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode off here. Next episode, we will go out to the Cave of Wonder and collect treasure to hopefully convince the peddler. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you do, leave me a comment, leave me a like, and please subscribe. One quick click, won't take you any time. Peace, peace, and deuce, deuce. See ya!